Python is one of the world's most popular programming languages. It is popular because it is easy to learn and works with so many different libraries, making it very flexible in many areas of computing. Python was invented in 1991 by Guido Van Rossum. Guido wanted to create a language that was easy to read and write. What sets Python apart? Simplicity and readability. Unlike other languages, Python uses plain English, making it beginner friendly. Compare this starting code for a Java application with the same app in Python. It is hard to argue with simplicity, isn't it? While there are many languages out there like Java, C++, and Ruby, Python stands out for its versatility and large community. So what is Python used for? From web development and data analysis to machine learning and automation, Python's reach is vast. Why should a programmer learn Python? It's in high demand, easy to pick up, and offers a stepping stone to other languages. Let's see what Python code looks like. This line simply displays the greeting, hello world. And this snippet prints numbers from zero to four. Notice the indentation? That's a unique bug in Python that is sure to frustrate most of you. However, indenting is supposed to be a good feature of Python, making it neat and readable. Big names like Google, NASA, and Instagram use Python. Its power and simplicity make it a top choice for many projects. Are there alternatives? Absolutely. JavaScript for web, Go for system programs, or R for data analysis are some. But Python often stands as a jack of all trades, most people combine Python with a library in order to accomplish their tasks. Here are five popular Python libraries, each representing a broad field of study. Number one, TensorFlow. This library focuses on deep learning and artificial intelligence. Developed by Google, TensorFlow is a powerful library for numerical computation and machine learning. The second Python library is Pandas. The Pandas library for Python focuses on data analysis and modeling. With Pandas, you can manipulate numerical tables with simple and powerful commands. Pandas is built on top of the NumPy library, allowing it to integrate well within a data science ecosystem. Library number three is Matplotlib. Matplot is a library for making visualizations and graphics. It provides an object-oriented API for embedding plots into applications. It's also great for making static, interactive, and animated visualizations in Python. Library number four, Scikit-Learn. Scikit is used for machine learning and statistics. It is a simple and efficient tool for data mining and data analysis for classification, regression, clustering, dimensionality reduction, and more. Pygame is a library for building games. It provides functionalities like creating windows, drawing shapes, capturing mouse events, and playing sounds. These libraries have played a pivotal role in propelling Python to its status as one of the most important languages in various fields, including AI, data science, and web development. In summary, Python's is a must learn for both beginners and seasoned programmers. My name is Shad Sluter, and I teach software development at Grand Canyon University. And subscribing to my channel is just like getting a free education with me in class. See you soon.